Right guys, I'm back with part two. This is the linear rail setup, which is going to be running across our tube divider. Right, I've got a few parts. This is a few for a couple of these. We need six of these for the full CNC. So what you do is you get a piece of 30 by 30 angle bar and chop it all up. The sizes are 200 millimetre by Nartig just cut up that's external uh, this is 194 uh, mil long just got to take off the 3 mil for the walls that, that, that will be getting marked dead in the centre of this clamped down and tack welded to it as well well, that all up now, get it all in place and tack, tack one up, then show you what the system is like. Right, guys, I'm back, just tacked it all up, just tacked it all up all around. It's time for me to put my bolts in now, so. 20 mils, slide them in, in the back. There's just enough space to get them in. I've done two for the rails. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just clamp them for now just so what you see and what you see it runs like oh, oh, oh. Two of the rails done. Two of these. This is um, just clamped for now. I will eventually have a full frame bolted to these. Then it bolts across that way, which and, and on the bottom, which strengthens up into a rectangle. Right guys, uh, I built a frame, just knocked a frame off, I'm going to put a sheet of marine ply on top, it's just for the CNC to set on top of. Uh, as you can see I've done the, the sides with some of the pieces, I've got to the other side. 
basically put the I put the rail on on the bar like this. Then I put that one on, measured it, so I knew where my distance from there to there was. Then just wet wet from that position and just went up. Marked out where the rails are gonna go on here. Uh, by marking the centre of this, so you want your your outer red in the centre of your linear setup. Then I just wear it out back, router linear setup for the z z z axes and the rails. So that's my sides. Tag weld it up. Truly all for here. Which will bolt onto these bolts we're going to put in here. Right, I've welded up a frame. I've welded my, my rail set up that I made to it. Looks a bit rough, but once I tidy it up, it'll look a bit neater. And there's my other one. Bolts just tacked to the inside. And this just bolts in. Like so. This bottom one comes out by these four bolts. What I'm going to do is a bit of 50 by 50. Over there, put it inside of there. So it's from there to there. And when I when I get the one, because I've got the rail, I've got the rail on the other side. So when I get that one made, then I'll put a bar from there to there, and the two tube bars from there. Not the rolling, the rolling. You can, if you don't, you don't have to weld the frame or do anything like this. On the last two ones I did, I did them. I did them like that, just so they are. But then all the sides, I just made MDF. Out of MDF size and just easy enough just to put it through, drill it all the way you want it and bolt it. Did exactly the same job, but this time I want I want something to be a bit more sturdy. the rest of the other parts which will be in the next one but by the time I come back on in part in part three all this side will already be all done I'll have made this for the Y axes and hopefully my motors will be here then mount all my motors and leader screws we'll go from there 